more propeller RPM, more thrust, right? Mm, not quite. Every propeller works best in a specific RPM range. If you spin them too fast, they become less efficient, burning more fuel, creating more noise, and you basically lose thrust. The engine, on the other hand, needs more RPM to extract peak power and efficiency. And that's why the Rotax engines are using a reduction gearbox. You bring the high engine speed down to a low propeller speed and to speed where the propeller uh, works best. At Rotax, why are we aiming for uh, peak power? The basic ingredients for power is on one hand displacement and on the other hand RPM. For a given uh, power output, you can either increase the, the displacement and lower the RPM or vice versa, lower the, the displacement and increase the RPM. And that's the Rotax way. We rather increase the RPM and lower the displacement because in this case the whole engine concept is way smaller and lighter, best for aircraft use. We have the high power density of the Rotax engines, good for aviation, but it goes hand in hand with a higher RPM and that RPM we need to reduce to go down to a prop RPM level and this is what we do with the reduction gearbox. So both the engine and the propeller run in a specific RPM range where they perform best. Let's take a look at the reduction gearbox, shall we? So here we can see the reduction gearbox. It's basically situated on top of the engine. We have here the crankshaft level and here on top of it the reduction gearbox. Gearbox ratio is in the area of 1 to 2.5 depending on engine type and engine configuration. Since decades, we are using this concept. And for every new project, we reevaluate this, and it always proves to be the best fit to meet the market demands. 